Welcome to the Big Apple School podcast. My name is Inga. And my name is John. So today we are going to speak about traditional national cuisines. And get ready, John is going to tell us about tasty, delicious dishes. Okay, so we'll start with England then. Yes, yeah, sure. If you like. Now there's lots of different regional dishes in England. Mm-hmm. Uh, and don't forget there's also Scotland and Wales. And sure. Ireland as well to get throw in. But let's start with England. And I think the dish that most people associate with English people is uh, fish and chips. Oh, right. I know right. that. Yes, which as well. is not that old in terms of tradition. And really, like most English food, has been borrowed from other people. Uh-huh. Because the tradition of deep frying fish in batter so first appeared in the end of the century before last, uh-huh. with mm-hmm. large numbers of Jewish immigrants oh. moved to Britain okay. from places like uh-huh. Russia, uh-huh. and it's their tradition of deep frying fish in batter, which caught on in London initially. Oh. Mm-hmm. And then to add it with to French fries, uh-huh. chips, yeah. the soldiers coming back, well, the soldiers in World War One in France would often be marching to the front and mm-hmm. they pester French farmers' wives for food. And the French farmers' wives would often cook them fried eggs and chips, uh-huh. French fries. Okay. And they brought the idea of chips back to England uh-huh. and the two things are married together oh. only in the 1920s. Oh, really? so early. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and my grandmother, um, who was born in the north of England, up, up there, the, the first fish and chip shop started opening all over the country. Uh-huh. And um, you used to, she used to go to the shop with a basin, uh-huh. buy the fish and chips uh-huh. in a basin, take it home. But in the south of England, they didn't do that. They actually had it wrapped in newspaper. So all oh, newspapers yeah. would be used to wrap it in. Mean, what you don't for, do that. John? What for? Well, just to get it home. Because oh, okay. chips get everywhere. Yeah, How would you yeah, carry them? Right. You, know? okay. you buy them from the, because not every, no one, those days, you didn't you know, have in your own house some ability to deep Can fry you, chips. Mm-hmm, yeah, not, you, sure. All you could do, but it's very uh-huh. messy. Mm-hmm. Can you cook it, John? I have done. It's it's still very messy and mm-hmm. complicated. You get grease everywhere. Oh, and do you know what? I don't really? like it that much. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't. Okay. Yeah. So that's fish and chips. The other thing <laughs> I suppose most people have heard of is roast beef uh-huh. and Yorkshire pudding. Of course. Yeah, um, uh-huh. Roast beef, very simple. It's just a big piece of beef roasted. Mm-hmm. The Yorkshire pudding, however, now, Yorkshire pudding is made the same way that Russians make pancakes. You make uh-huh. a batter from uh-huh. flour, uh-huh. eggs, milk and water, mix it together, uh-huh. and you can either make pancakes or you put it in a dish uh-huh. with very hot oil at the bottom, oh. pull the whole lot in, mm-hmm. shove it in the oven and watch it rise. And that's your that's pudding. It. That's okay. it. Okay. Is it tasty? Oh, yes. Is it the same? It's got the same flavour as uh, our pancakes? Well, no, because what you hopefully what you've done is the oil you've used at the bottom is the fat that's come out of the oh, meat. That's okay. gone in the bottom. So okay. that's so it gets flavoured with, with that and you have it with, because uh-huh. it's, okay. it's very savoury, uh-huh. you have it with the roast beef. Mm-hmm. Okay. In Yorkshire, traditionally, this was served first, Yorkshire pudding, mm-hmm. and you had your roast meat and vegetables afterwards. And this is because, so so tradition has it, Yorkshire people are known uh-huh. for their meanness. Uh-huh. And they would feed you up on the Yorkshire pudding, which has the cheaper ingredients in, so you'd eat less of the roast beef. Oh. Yeah. That's the tradition, anyway. <laughs> okay. So it goes. Okay. So tell me a bit more about Armenian traditional oh, food. Oh, right. I'm from Armenia, of course, mm-hmm. we've got our special dishes that we cook, I cook at home, mm-hmm. our special dishes. So our cuisine uh, is one of the oldest cuisines of Asia and the oldest in Caucasus. Uh, based on scientist archaeological ex- excavations, it is known that Armenians were aware of ferments, how to cook bread, mm-hmm. bake bread. Mm-hmm. So that's why we've got a special bread lavash. Mm-hmm. It's a pita, a kind mm-hmm. of pita, thin pita. We used to bake it 2,500 years ago. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine? Mm-hmm. It is known that they use 300 species, Armenians. 300 species of grasses, herbs, mm-hmm. I should say, and flowers. We use it in our dishes. So the first thing that I've already mentioned, um, uh, tolma. Have you tried it? Tolma? I have not. 
Dolma. Dolma is it's a minced meat with fine lips. Mm -hmm. uh, minced meat that is to say it's pork and beef. Mm -hmm. And we eat it with sour cream mm -hmm. and garlic. Mm -hmm. It is very tasty, by the way. I'll try to cook it for you well, one day. Be nice. Thank one you. bright day. <laughs> <laughs> Harissa is also traditional. It's a kind of a porridge, like uh, English porridge, but it is chicken with uh, chicken. Uh, it is uh, cooked with chicken and wheat. Mm -hmm. uh, basturma. It's a kind of a um, spicy thing. Spicy. Dried beef. Dried beef in spicy covering, garlic and red pepper, mm -hmm. and it is spicy really, but it's very tasty. We usually prepare it um, um, before Christmas mm -hmm. and before New Year holidays. Kufta, it's also a kind of a tradi kufta. Mm -hmm. It's a tender meat balls made of stewed beef. Tender I've, meat balls. I've had, I've had, but they, they, you, the ones I've had have always been lamb. Oh, Kofta, they are. Kofta, they that's are. Good, the Greek version. Yeah, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. they are. La Majo, which is La Majo. It's a kind of a, it's pitas mm -hmm. with, with sauce and minced meat on it. Mm -hmm. Very thin layer of minced mm -hmm. meat. And of course, it's all, it's spicy. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to eat spicy, you, oh, should, you like, should ask mm -hmm. it. You should oh, ask oh, it. I like just, spice. Not spicy for me, please. You just, you, know, you can, you oh, can say spice yeah, for me. Yeah. <laughs> I can also mention sujuk. It's also thin dried sausage. Okay. Thin, very thin, which is also called, we prepare it, we cook it, we uh, do it before Christmas. Before mm -hmm. Christmas. Horovats, it's our barbecue. Mm -hmm. we, we call it horovats. Mm -hmm. It's just a staple, staple uh, dish for all holidays, Armenian holidays. And one more thing I should mention, I've already cooked at home. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, by the way, spas. It's a kind of a soup mm -hmm. with yogurt, with wheat. Okay. And with some herbs. Mm -hmm. It's very, very tasty and mm -hmm. light. Light soup. Light soup. Light soup. Is it right. a cold soup? Is it? You can eat it as cold uh -huh. and you can eat it as mm heat. -hmm. It's just very light and very tasty. Mm -hmm. Yogurt and wheat. Okay. Nothing else. Mm -hmm. Nothing else. Okay. Uh, which uh, uh, ingredients commonly are used? In English cuisine. Well, potatoes. We have, we do eat still quite a lot of potatoes, but le a lot less than we used to. Um, Fifty years ago, potatoes are served with um, every main meal of the mm -hmm. day, possibly two meals a day. Um, since a box, approximately the 17th century, Britain, people in Britain have been eating potatoes a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Um, However, as our um, ethnic makeup of the country has changed and people's tastes have changed mm -hmm. with them, okay. people now increase eat a lot more rice, mm -hmm. a lot more, an awful lot more pasta. Yeah. I mean, yeah. when I was a, when I was a child back in the sixties, um, having spaghetti bolognese was seen as something oh. exotic. <laughs> pasta, wow, not potatoes then, <laughs> and we never had rice or pita uh -huh. bread. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That was just. Well, I don't think my mother knew what it was. Uh -huh. um, certainly, my grandparents didn't. Mm -hmm. But now, it, because potatoes can be a bit of a nuisance, you've got to peel them, and then you. Uh, there's also ways of. Whereas pasta, Time you open a packet, throw it in a bo bo boiling water, yeah, it's yeah. done. Yeah. Um, so the, the, the proportion of potato eaten um, has dropped uh, massively over the years. It's much mm -hmm. more rice and pasta now. Mm -hmm. We still eat a lot of bread. Um, yeah. As for ingredients. Mm -hmm. Um, people don't cook much in Britain these days. They, they don't. prefer to eat it in restaurants. No, or they're just bone idle and they order it um, either uh, pre-cooked. Uh -huh. um, the the uh, ready meals sector has grown out of all proportion to anything else. Oh. So uh -huh. supermarkets now have lots of easy, prepared, already done meals. Uh -huh. Just stick in the microwave or stick in the oven for 20 minutes and it's done. So you oh, don't have to do yeah. cooking. So People are very busy nowadays, mm -hmm. John, so that's why there is no mm -hmm. way out. They want to eat quickly mm -hmm. and buy something quick and cook yeah. it at home. But at the same time, the number of programs devoted to cooking yeah. on TV <laughs> has gone through. So people like watching other people cooking uh -huh. but eating out of the yes. microwave. <laughs> 
<laughs> you can buy it uh, in a supermarket, but yeah. please try to learn to cook. Yeah. By the way, do you cook, John? I do. I do. Um, all dishes that you like or... Uh, I try. I, I made my first ever cake earlier this year. It oh. worked. Uh -huh. you know? With um, a cream? Cake with a cream? Or yes, with, with huh? cream, yes. Uh -huh. I never made one before. I, I've tried... Uh, there's one or two things I've tried that haven't worked. But uh, yeah, I, I like to cook, yes. How often do you do it? Pretty much every day. Every day? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when you're busy, when you, are, yeah, you when have I'm a lot of lessons... Yeah, I mean, something uh -huh. simple like, um, uh -huh. you know... Pasta. Toast. <laughs> <laughs> but toast in the morning. Yes. So what about for lunch, for dinner? Oh, I just make a, I make some sort of salad, you know, oh. like um, mm -hmm. coleslaw. Mm -hmm. I love coleslaw. Uh -huh. What Potato is it? Potato salad. Coleslaw? It's a salad simply made from raw cabbage, mm -hmm. raw carrot, raw onion and mayonnaise. Oh. Just shred it all up mm -hmm. and mix it together. With oil? Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And potato salad mm -hmm. is cold boiled potatoes, mm -hmm. preferably new ones with their skins on, cut up, uh -huh. not before, long before they go all mushy. Mm -hmm. And again, mixed with mayonnaise and chives if you can get it, but you uh -huh. can't, those green onions. That you can oh, buy here. okay, I got it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I got it. Well, but what do you prefer, John, to cook dishes or to cook sweet things? Oh, but main courses. I don't cook many sweet things. I don't need them because I, I don't, don't eat need it. Oh, I don't okay. need them. So. You don't need it. You don't need it. No, the only reason I cooked that okay. made that cake was at somebody's birthday. Oh, uh, <laughs> not mine. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's speak about um, commonly known dishes. So, mm -hmm. for example, in Italy, it's pasta. Mm -hmm. In Belarus, it's potatoes. Oh, the largest. <laughs> what is the staple food of your country? Well, as I said, it used to be. Potatoes and now it's, everything has changed. Yeah, everything has changed. <laughs> yes, um, the, the the thing that people fill up on, get their the majority of their calories from, used to be potatoes. Uh -huh. You say pasta, Italy, potatoes in Belarus, rice in Southeast Asia. Um, but of course, more affluent countries, in Western Europe, they don't have to eat potatoes to fill up. They eat, they eat more and more meat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, they eat more and more takeaway food, uh, pizzas, uh, fish and chips. Still, uh -huh. the, still, still the most popular still, takeaway. Yeah, but uh -huh. the dish people like most in England. Hmm. Is, what is it? <laughs> is tandoori chicken masala. Tandoori chicken. Is this? Is it cooked in tandoor? Tandoor. Tandoor. It's, or it's, it's meant to be. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Tandoori it's meant to be. chicken. So it's in, in the 1950s, we had um, a large number of uh, immigrants from South Asia come over from, uh -huh. to, to Britain and settle. And some of them started opening little restaurants. Okay. And Indian, or in fact, this uh -huh. is ba it's Bengali uh -huh. cuisine, okay, Bengali, right. spread. Uh -huh. And practically every street in Britain has now got an Indian restaurant on it. Oh. And, uh, you know, going out for an Indian, even though they're not generally Indians, <laughs> Bangladeshis, but everyone refers to them as Indians, uh -huh. um, <clears throat> has become something of a tradition and everybody eats curry, or most people do. And tandoori chicken tikka masala, which is a version of a grilled South Asian. Chicken? Grilled? It's, it's, it's grilled and then it gets a, the masala sauce over it, uh -huh. I think. Okay. So it's quite creamy and slightly uh -huh. sweet. Not too hot, but uh -huh. even a little bit hot. Right, and naan bread. People run, go mad for naan yeah. bread, which I suppose is not dissimilar to lavash. But... Do you like it? Do you... Yeah, I do actually. <laughs> Can you cook it? Mm, I've tried. I've... No. <laughs> Do you need some special ingredients like curry, only curry, or what else do you need it, to cook? The, the, the chicken part of it isn't too difficult because you can buy the powder already mixed, uh -huh, okay. <laughs> which is cheat. Uh -huh. It's doing the naan bread. You need a different type of flour and you really need a, a, a tandoor to cook it in. Oh. You can't mm -hmm. do it with a grill, mm -hmm. but okay. I can certainly do curry type dishes. Uh -huh. um, I prefer to do them on a barbecue actually, you know, like a shashlik. Yeah. Like, right. So you get the chicken, cut it up mm -hmm. and marinate it in the barbecue uh -huh. spices, spices and stick it on a skewer uh -huh. and over uh -huh. the heat. Okay. Where do you do it? Usually on a barbecue in the garden. Oh, okay. okay. I built one okay. specially for that. <laughs> oh my God. How often do you do it? Well, if I was in England, I'd probably do it every time the sun came out. You know? What about in Russia? Well... Do you prefer to buy it or is are there any places in Russia, in Novosibirsk, that sell this kind of... Dish. Not really, no, not, no. not that I know of. I've 
I know in Gorjan got this old packet of curry powder and I bought that and used it. Uh-huh. Was it the same one? Not the same, but it's, it's okay. It's, it's okay. It's, it's, it's taste all right. Yeah, oh, it's nice. Okay. <laughs> Something like that. You like that, yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, what about, uh, what dishes do you have on special occasions? For example, Christmas. Okay, now um, we What recently did a podcast um, And uh, you talked about um, putting a coin in a dish. Um, What was that? Yes, in? big cookie. A big cookie. Uh-huh. Yeah, and you put a coin. And you mentioned it was a large coin. Yeah. So, so people didn't it. choke. <laughs> right. I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. come back to that in a minute. Uh-huh. So Christmas then. Uh, traditionally in Britain, we, we would have had a roast goose. Anyone who's uh-huh. read A uh, Christmas Carol by um, Charles Dickens, mm-hmm will remember that it's um, a goose that um, the Scratched family get given in the end by um, old Mr. Scrooge, I think. Uh Um, (laughs) And traditionally it was a goose. But with uh, the Second World War, a lot of American soldiers over here, turkey became of more interest. Because Americans have always eaten more turkey because that's where turkeys come from. Uh Right? Um, And they always had them at Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. And then a man called Bernard Matthews started a turkey farm in East Anglia. And he managed to grow them quickly and cheaply, etc. So turkeys were now available at a relatively cheap price before they were incredibly expensive. Oh. And so mm-hmm. turkey replaced the goose for Christmas oh. Day. Uh-huh. So a massive grape turkey with all the trimmings, which mm-hmm. is stuffing and pigs in blankets, which is oh little sausages <laughs> wrapped in bacon and roast potatoes uh-huh. and sprouts, one of my favorite vegetables, which loads of people hate. Uh-huh. But you like to, it. I love them. They're uh-huh. meant to give you a terrible wind, but uh-huh. I still love them. <laughs> <laughs> and after that, if that wasn't enough to eat, because mm-hmm. by this time you can barely move, you have a Christmas pudding. <laughs> a Christmas pudding is a Plum pudding made from suet, which is beef fat, uh-huh. flour, okay. and lots and lots and lots of dried fruit. And it's usually plied with brandy or sometimes whiskey, uh-huh. quite a lot of alcohol in it oh, as well. Okay. And it's, it's steamed. Cooked. Yeah, cooked it. it's okay. steamed. Oh, uh, okay. And, uh-huh. and uh-huh. inside it are secreted, uh-huh. or used to be traditionally, coins. People oh. don't do this anymore because uh-huh. it's not seen as hygienic. Uh-huh. But unlike, can wash it, just yeah, wash it. <laughs> yeah, unlike the sensible people of Armenia, uh-huh. people used to put sixpences in them. Uh-huh. Sixpences, no Is it big enough? No. <laughs> It's a very small coin, oh less than a centimetre <laughs> across in diameter. Uh-huh. And you put a silver sixpence in there. Uh-huh. And I wonder how many people choked on Christmas Day on these. <laughs> really? That's possibly why it's not done anymore oh, on the sixpence. God. But um, it wasn't... Uh, Uh, any anything to do with luck? It was just uh-huh. you got the sixpence. Which was those? It was quite. But it doesn't coin. mean anything. It wasn't. Mm, it... Don't think so. Not can. Not so what for to put the coin there? It so was just, it, just in our culture, it's kind of a you are a lucky person this year. It's mm. it, it has a meaning sense. Mm. But what about in England? Well, a sixpence when people used to do this 50, 60, 70 years, it was actually quite valuable. Oh, Six so, old pennies okay. was okay. half a shilling. Uh-huh. You, are, mm. you are rich, you got it. Yeah. Sixpence. sixpence. You're a rich yeah. person already. If you were a child and you had sixpence, you would oh, buy quite a lot of sweets yeah. with that. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, which traditional dish, John, do you like to prepare most often? Traditional. What I like to do and what I do most often are two different things. Um, what I li- I like cooking roast beef. Mm-hmm. I like It's to do tasty. that. It's yeah, really tasty. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I, I quite like cooking Christmas dinner. It's uh-huh. quite a palaver, but you know, you can. Uh, what I do most often, mm-hmm. I think, is I'm trying to think. Well, I just do things with pasta. You know, I be, you know, I make sauces. Of course, and, pasta. It's it's easy. It's, it's easy. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. And quick. And quick. Quick enough. Yeah. Or, or as I say, I keep eating salads. So I make potato salad probably twice a week. Okay. And I make coleslaw twice a week, mm-hmm. which is you know just knocking up a salad is quick. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't seem to make big meals over here in Russia anymore. I just make mm-hmm. little things because there's only me. So. Do you cook pasta with some salads? Uh, 
or pasta is enough for you to have dinner, to have lunch, only with pasta? Just pasta and some, Just, I make a sauce of some sort. Okay, uh, with, with cheese. No, it it usually, usually, it's usually some sort of tomato paste, onion, garlic, mm -hmm. maybe a bit of uh, kolbasa, um, uh, peppers, onions, oh, mushrooms. Okay. That's the usual thing. What about Russian food, John? Ah. What do you like in mm. Russian cuisine? Right. I love beetroot. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like beetroot. Um, do you I, cook it? Yes. I okay. grow you it. Boil it. You, you boil, boil it, it and you eat it in salads or how, how do you cook it? Um, I eat it cold in salads. Mm -hmm. I have grated it up, mixed it with garlic and mayonnaise, as I'm told they do in Belarus. Okay. Uh, and I also do, I'm very fond of borscht. Borscht mm. is tasty, mm. it's full of vitamins, yes. of course. Fantastic. It's tasty. I do like Russian soups, mm -hmm. I do, yes. Can you cook borscht? Yes. Really? Yes. Great. Yeah. But what it else? Nice. Russian dishes, I mean. Oh, what else? I've tried making um, uh, pirozhki. Pirozhki. Yeah, I've tried pirozhki. making those. Um, with potatoes? Or with meat? Oh, meat? I think I made them with cabbage. Or with liver. With cabbage. cabbage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it also very, it's very tasty. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Light, I like cabbage. Light Russian. Mm. Light Russian. Yeah. Oh, I'm cabbage it? cooked. I like red cabbage cooked the way Russians with apple and, uh -huh. and oil like that. Uh -huh. yes. Okay. Okay. Do you try to cook pirashki pies mm -hmm. for the first time in Russia? No, back in England it was. You did it. Yeah. In... yeah. Maybe your relatives tried it and no, said, no, oh, no, my God. no. I got. I was given a Russian cookbook for Christmas and I got to try this. <laughs> <laughs> Just experimenting. Uh huh. Okay. But what do you prefer? Um, you can cook borscht, okay, mm, different yeah, soups, but yeah. your preferable dish. What do I, what's my favorite? I, yeah, you so tried for the first time in mm, Russia and mm. it was, wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see, it was, ah, like, yes. Uh, I always get, is it Sol, Sol, Solyanka? Salyanka. 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 Yeah, no, there are like... a lot of ingredients mm. there. Yeah. I've never tried to cook it, by the way. No, so neither Russian mine. one. Mm -hmm. We haven't got, Armenians haven't got this one, mm -hmm. but Russians have with different ingredients there. <laughs> when I see so a lot of ingredients there, mm -hmm. I, I just think, oh my God, is it tasty? <laughs> <laughs> to try all these things yeah. together in one soup. Is it a sour or a sweet soup? or? A... It, 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 it... Because there's lemon in it, it, oh. it is a, has a certain sourness to it. And I like the fact there's olives in it as well, which is, I do like that. But I'll tell you what was the greatest revelation to me here was all the different types of smoked fish, of smoked yeah, salmon. Right, right. In England, there's one type of smoked salmon. It's Scottish smoked salmon, made but raised on a salmon farm in Scotland. Mm -hmm. It's very nice, but it's mm -hmm. also very expensive okay. for, for the amount you get. Mm -hmm. It's much more expensive than in Russia. Oh, yes. Oh. Whereas here, all the salmon's from the Pacific, mm -hmm. none of it's farmed, mm -hmm. and it's, you know, I mean, we, we couldn't be further from the sea here in oh. Nova mm -hmm. but it's all seems to be nice and fresh. But you can find all these things yeah. in supermarkets. Yeah, and that, but the smoked stuff, mm -hmm. um, uh, what's the, kita, uh -huh. right? Kita, uh, right. And uh -huh. that's, that's not even very expensive. It's great. And it's tasty. It's tasty. Uh -huh. yeah, How do you cook it, by the way? I in don't. the oven? No, it's, or? It's, if it's already smoked, you just eat it oh, as okay. it is. Okay, okay. Smoked one. But yeah. You don't cook it. You just buy no. already smoked. Just buy it already smoked mm -hmm. and just eat it. I do actually sometimes do use some of it in cooking. Uh, I make a sauce for pasta using some of that, some cream cheese, uh -huh. a few prawns, some peppers, and some tomatoes, and some basil. Uh huh. Which was very nice. <gasps> It's already fine. <laughs> it's already, it's, it sounds already tasty. <laughs> and also, I sometimes cook it with scrambled egg. Oh. On mm -hmm. toast. Yes, sure. <laughs> Which is something no one in, seem, in Russia seems to... Toast? We don't, we don't eat toast, by the way. Yeah. We don't buy toasters. We don't eat toast. No. So why do you prefer toast in the morning for breakfast? Why do you do it? What for? Well, we prefer eggs. Okay. Boiled mm -hmm. eggs, scrambled eggs, mm -hmm. sunny side of egg, mm -hmm. but toasts never. Yeah, well, we have the eggs, but we put them on the toast. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Toast was a, 
a way of using up bread that was nearly was gone dry and a bit stale. Oh, and you just because uh-huh. it in the process of heating it up, it gets softer again in the middle. So uh-huh. you get a crispy outside, but crispy and soft inside. Yeah, in the middle of mm-hmm. it. And you can just put there a scrambled egg on top. Yeah. On top. Yeah. And it's tasty. Yeah. It's quick. Mm-hmm. And you are full. Yes. Okay. Everybody's yeah, happy. Yeah. <laughs> Toasted marmite, which is mm, something else, and. Uh, Marmalade and oh, oh, mm-hmm. anything, okay. everything goes on toast. <gasps> Great, <laughs> very good. I should try someday toast. Yeah, yeah, gotta get a toaster. There, I bought one for. I should try it. Seven hundred rubles, something like that. Oh, little one. Okay, gotta get a toaster. Yeah. They do sell them here, so some yeah, people. Yeah, of course, must sure, it. maybe, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> uh, what about dishes, John? What dishes are other countries particularly famous for? Oh. Uh, and have you tried them? Yes. I've got a special list of just uh, traditional foods of different cuisines. Well, you you tell me what you've mention. heard of. You tell me what you've heard yeah, of. Yeah, I've heard of about uh, China yeah. dumplings. So mm. it's very popular in mm. China to cook dumplings. Dim sum, I think. So it's minced it. meat with dough, of course, mm. with vegetables. Mm-hmm. They cook it with vegetables wrapped in a dough. Mm-hmm. Georgia is well known for is famous for its hinjali, its dumplings, just uh-huh. same things. And hachapuri, hachapuri, it's kind of a um, duff with mm. a lot of cheese inside. Ah, yes. Cheese, a lot of cheese. Yes, I've heard Georgia cheese. Is a lot of cheese. <laughs> uh, ha- there are hachapuri, ajarski, hachapuri, ajarski. There is a there is an egg mm. on it. On ah, top I've seen it. this. So yeah. there is a kind of a, a long one, mm-hmm. hachapuri, long one with a a lot of cheese in it mm. and a, an egg. Mm-hmm. It. It's also very popular mm-hmm. in Georgia. Um, Canada. Uh, I have found an interesting name of fa- their famous dishes. Putin. Can you imagine? Putin, like our president. Oh, Putin, yeah. right. It's cooked by chips rice, loaded with cheese and a rich gravy. Mmm. Have you ever tried it? No. No. <laughs> Have you ever heard about it uh, with this name? With no, this I haven't. I've I've seen things similar to that in the United States. I've never tried. I've never, it. No, I never heard it called poutine. But I know it that Spain is famous for its paella. Mm-hmm. Paella. It's yeah. a dish. This it can be made of seafood or more meaty, rabbit, beef, duck, chicken, even snails in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and green vegetables, of course. Mm-hmm. So they use, of course, beans there mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. Um, there is a layer of rice mm-hmm. with paella. It's also very popular. Greece is very famous for its souvlaki. Yeah. Greece name souvlaki. Yeah. Have you heard about it? Yes, souvlaki. I have. This is to the Greeks like hamburgers. Yeah. Like burgers yeah, for maybe, maybe American lamb. people. Lamb? It's maybe okay. lamb rather than beef, I think. Oh, it's kind of a fast food. Yeah. On a stick. Yeah. It's kind yeah, of fast nice. food. Souvlaki is basically grilled mm. that has been marinated, mm-hmm. marinated in a citrus mm-hmm. and herb marinade. Yeah. Very tasty. Yeah, it's so it tasty. I, now that I have tried in really? Greece. Yeah, it's uh-huh. very nice. Okay. Yes. And they use sour cream as well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like Russian people. Yes. <laughs> uh, what about your known, well-known dishes? Well, what one was have I tried? Uh, I try fish head curry in Malaysia once, which is more than just the head. You get the rest of it. It's basically just cut the tail off. Oh. So it's just a whole fish that's uh-huh. at the head sticking out uh-huh. um, with the eyeball in it. And, and it's a whole fish in a curry sauce. And it's very nice, quite hot. Okay. Um, I also ate, um, it was also Malaysia, I think it was some sort of stir fried frogs with vegetables. Frogs, frogs oh. yeah. Yeah, that was the whole frog. The whole frog, oh yes. God. I mean, I've had frogs' legs oh. in France, uh-huh. and they tasted just like greasy chicken. Uh-huh. As, in France, you mean? In France, mm-hmm. yeah. As did alligator in the United States, tasted mm-hmm. like greasy chicken. Uh-huh. As did um, well, what was that bird I ate in in Malaysia? Um, I can't. It'll come to me in a minute. But again, anything like that oh, snake. Uh-huh. Tastes like chicken. <laughs> they all taste like chicken. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah. So, but um, yeah, those are some of the odder things I've tried. Yes, uh, in Malaysia, hot. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. What do you prefer to eat when you go some special place? To eat their national traditional dish, mm-hmm. or the dish that you already know? 
you already have tried or just tasted? I like to try. I like to Something experiment. That... Yes. Mm -hmm. um, th there are certain things that I wouldn't try. I mean, I've been to. I think deep fried tarantula, which I saw in Cambodia. Oh my God. No, I'm not no, eating never. insects. <laughs> <laughs> or grasshoppers or. Chinese like. Chinese people yeah. like just a kind of a lot of just yeah. eating insects. insects. No, no, I couldn't mm -hmm. do insects or mm -hmm. worms or things mm -hmm. like that. But um, I think frog was the limit. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> I'm afraid. Yeah, I don't think I was. Once. Once, once, yeah. And I had snails once. Enough. I didn't really like that either. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, but I do like to try what you know what's on offer, whatever, whatever traditional dishes are, are available. I will try them within reason. Yeah. Of course, <laughs> to know just to have some information. Mm -hmm. I have tried this one. Yeah. I like it, or no, it's not my yeah. my cup yeah. of tea. Yeah. Okay. And you? Okay, I um, I'm afraid of trying new things. You know, because I I don't know because I don't eat frogs. I don't eat insects. I don't eat just strange things that are not Armenian, mm -hmm. are just unusual thing for me. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I try to avoid such dishes and try to choose something simple. Mm -hmm. Things, ingredients that I already know. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's quite normal. So uh, apart from Armenian cuisine, if you had to choose a national cuisine which you'd like to really explore, you'd eat a lot of, which would it be in any particular country? It's just must be. It's dolma. Uh, dolma. No, 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 no. A, na a national cu cuisine from a different country other than Armenia. So it can't be anything Armenian. Which one would you? Would well, which you... one I'd prefer? Yeah, um, it can't be Armenian. Okay. I guess Russian is very close to Armenian, so mm -hmm. that's why it's so close to my mm -hmm. heart as mm -hmm. well. Uh, maybe Russian one. Okay. Maybe Russian, right? Oh, I can live in Italy. I can live in Italy easily. <laughs> we also cook pasta mm -hmm. and pizza, by mm -hmm. the way, in Armenian people also. Mm -hmm. Our lamajo mm -hmm. is uh, quite the same thing as mm -hmm. pizza. Pizza, there are a lot of ingredients on pizza. Mm -hmm. But lamajo is kind of thin, means mm -hmm. meat. So that's it. No tomato, mm -hmm. no other ingredients mm -hmm. on it. So they are different, but a kind of the same taste, mm -hmm. kind of same one. Okay, John, so it was very interesting to know uh, interesting facts about different... Yeah, we're both really cuisine. hungry now, aren't we? Right, <laughs> yes. after all this Fortunately, conversation... Yes, it's, it's about yes. dinner time, so isn't after it? After this tasty conversation, we're already hungry, so yeah. we have, but have, we have to wind up. Yeah. So I hope to see you next time. Yes. So join us, please, later to listen to our, our next podcast. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.